Good morning. Today is August 25th, 2016, and I'll be reading from the devotion, uh, Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. It's a wonderful read. The scriptures that accompany it are Psalm 25, 14 through 15, 1 Corinthians 3, 16, and Exodus 3, 14. It reads, I am the eternal I am. I always have been and I always will be. In my presence, you experience love and light, peace and joy. I'm intimately involved in all your moments, and I'm training you to be aware of me at all times. Your assignment is to collaborate with me in this training process. I have taken up residence within you. I am central in your innermost being. Your mind goes off in tangents from its holy center time after time. Do not be alarmed by your inability to remain focused on me. Simply bring your thoughts gently back to me each time they wander. The quickest way to redirect your mind to me is to whisper my name. There is so much power in the name of Jesus. Um, I could go on and on about that, but what I really want to share with you is my testimony of the eternal divine nature of our Lord. He was and is eternal. In the beginning, he was, and he created the world. Um, then he came down here. He suffered, he died for us, and, and then he blessed us with his Holy Ghost. And Paul, in 1 Corinthians, says, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? My wife broke it down to me a few years back when I was struggling with, you know, maintaining myself and maintaining a, a temple of God. She was pregnant with my first daughter, Ellie, and she said, you know, I have to watch what I put in my body because I have a baby in my womb. And we're a lot like that, Nick. We have the Holy Spirit inside of us and we have to watch what we put in our body. Things got real. So I thought, okay, that is a great analogy. I have to watch what I put in my body, not just physically put in my body, but mentally. What what do I allow to enter into my thoughts? Am I watching things that are conducive to being inviting of the spirit? Um, is my heart in the right place? You know, and those are just things that I started to think about because of what she told me. And... Um, I challenge you to, to think about that, and that, you, that you're a temple of the Holy Ghost. And I want you to not get down on yourself if there's some things that you need to change. Because like he said, if you, just need, if you need to redirect your thoughts, all you got to do is whisper his name. The power of the atoning sacrifice is that you are not a sinner. You are made free. So if you do make a mistake, all you have to do is say, I'm sorry and repent. Hit your knees, tell the Lord, hey, you know, I'm sorry I made a mistake. I won't do it again. Um, and that's it. Get up and go. So I know that my Redeemer lives. I know that he loves you. And I know that he is waiting to look at you in the eye and say, welcome home, my son. Be blessed today. May the Lord grant you peace and joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.